Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at unit rate. We're going to talk about what unit rate is. What is unit rate? We're going to show some examples of it and include some word problems because unit rate is something that we do see in our everyday life, even if we don't always call it a unit rate. So first off, this is a situation where unit rate might be um, seen. If this guy is saying, I earn $21 per three hours, and this guy's bragging, oh yeah, I make $36 per nine hours, and this guy goes, well, I only make $10 an hour. The question is, who makes the most amount of money? And this is um, a common question. It's actually something I had to do when I was first working because I was offered a certain amount and then my paycheck didn't match it. So I had to figure out what were they paying me per hour. And that's what unit rate is. Unit rate gives us a way to easily compare. When we say it, we often use the word per and it means per one unit. For example, dollars per hour, words per minute, um, rotations per minute, right? RPM, miles per hour. These are just some examples where we would see unit rate in our everyday life. Now let's talk about calculating unit rate. Calculating unit rate is dividing. That's really all it is. We can also use simplifying um, ratios, and I'll show you how to do that. But calculating is often, or dividing, I'm sorry, is often the easiest way to calculate it. Here's an example. If I run six miles in two hours, how many miles per hour do I run? You would write it as a ratio, and then as miles per hour, you would set it up like that, miles per hour, and you would have six over three, which equals two, two miles per hour. I could also write it as six over three equals two over one, or as a ratio that you see there in colon form, okay? This is unit rate. Quick math tip. Um, as you do advance in math, math classes, you will see that division symbol there a little less often. Um, and instead, you're going to see fractions. Now, don't freak out about that because, and I want to show you this, this might blow your mind. This is a fraction. Look at that. Have you ever thought about that? The division symbol is actually a fraction. It's a number over another number. Okay, mind blown, let's get on to our examples. I want you to solve for the unit rate. There are 81 books in a classroom of 27 students. You'll write it as a ratio, books per student, and remember that that means books divided by students. So you can write it like this, books over students, or 81 over 27, and 81 divided by 27 equals three. So there's three books per student. And that's how you would write it as a unit rate. This is probably the easiest way to calculate unit rate is just using it and doing division. You may see it in a different way, so I'm going to show you in a different way here. Um, if you're asked to write the ratio as a rate, there are 15 balloons in three cars. Write it as a ratio. So. What I'm going to do is actually simplify the fraction to having a denominator of one. Watch how I do this and it will all make sense. If I have balloons over cars, I would have 15 over three. To simplify that fraction, I divide by my greatest common factor and I simplify it to being five over one. That's the same thing as five, right? Five divided by one is five. So there's five balloons per car as you see there. But I can also write this as two ratios, right? 15 to three is equal to five to one. And that's a unit rate. A unit rate means that there is a one in that denominator, five over one. We usually don't even write that denominator of one. We would just say five balloons per car. So again, this is sort of a, a different way to think of it maybe but it means the same thing. You're calculating the number of, in this case, balloons per every single car. Now let's get back to talking money. 
and figuring out who makes the most between these three interesting characters here. All we need to do is do a, some quick division or set up a couple of fractions. $21 per three hours, well, we're going to put dollars per hour, right? In every case, $10 per hour is going to be 10 over 1. So it's $10 per one hour. That one's the easiest one, so let's just leave that one first. 21 per 3 hours is 21 divided by 3. Notice with each fraction we have to be consistent. It's dollars on the top, hours on the bottom. That way we can compare them. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. So this guy makes $7 per hour. And this guy down here going, oh yeah, well I make $36 per 9 hours. 36 divided by 9 means that he's making $4 per hour. All right? So that is how we would look at this. Now we can compare dollars per one hour and we can actually see who's making the most amount of money. And it's actually the person who said the least, the smallest number. All right, now let's talk about how we use this in real life. We often use this at the grocery store where we're looking for the best deal, right? Bill bought four apples for $3.00. And 28 cents. Gil bought two apples for one dollar and sixty cents. Jill bought six apples for four dollars and sixty eight cents. So those are our three people there. Now let's take a look at what they actually cost and who got the best deal. And, and to do that we're going to say dollars over apples. Okay, who got the best deal? Well, Gil had $1.60 for two apples. So we can divide that and we get that he had 80 cents per apple. That's what he's paying. Um, let's go over here to Bill. $3.28 divided by four tells us that Bill is actually paying 82 cents per apple. And Jill is dividing $4.68 divided by six tells us that Jill is actually paying six, uh, 78 cents per apple. All right. So unless Jill doesn't really want six apples, I suppose, um, Jill is definitely getting the best deal, the best price per apple. And you can do that by division for each case. All right. So a couple things to remember. Unit rate is the amount of a single item or a single unit. And per means division. So you can calculate unit rate by dividing. You can also write it as a ratio over one. I hope this lesson was helpful for you. Make sure to check out the worksheet, practice, 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 and then take the quiz to show us what you know. Have a wonderful day.